we can even go over to its uh, description and see that uh, it's an ERC721 uh, token standard. Hello guys, this is your boy Ali Solanki and today in this video, we'll be talking about how to create ERC721 NFT collection. So uh, in the previous videos, I've already talked about how to host your NFTs on IPFS. Before that, we had talked about the difference between ERC1155 and ERC721. I'd shown you an example of ERC-1155 as well and uh, we had also talked about uh, so this was the first video in the series and uh, we had talked about how to generate multiple NFTs actually create the entire NFT collection as well so in this particular video we'll be talking about how to create ERC-721 NFT collection and we'll be deploying our smart contract and minting NFTs and then viewing our NFTs on OpenSea as well so uh, let's just do that let's uh, start right from uh, the first step and um, yeah uh, before i begin i also want to tell you that we'll be uploading this on uh, polygon network but it's exactly the same when it comes to ethereum network as well i'll tell you the small differences that uh, we'll be facing in the uh, steps but um, the only difference would be you'd have to pay a lot of gas fees so yeah if you want to go with ethereum network you can do that as well so uh, let's just start with the video and uh, do the first step which is updating and uploading nft metadata on ipfs now uh, if you remember uh, in the last video we had uploaded our images on pinata which is uploaded our uh, images on ipfs protocol and uh, we had gotten this particular cid from it as well so in this particular video, uh, in the first step, we need to upload our JSON files as well. So the JSON files were created over here. So if you just go over to the build and uh, you can see all the images that you had built, right? So uh, these were the images that we had built uh, using the different layers. Uh, but we also want to upload the JSON file. So let me just scroll up and uh, let me just go down yeah so these are the metadata for all of those uh, files uh, that we had generated and in that if you see uh, in the image section there's this particular line which is ipfs code here and then slash one dot png <clears throat> so in all of these json files we need to update ipfs code here with the ipfs code which is given over here the code is uh, this Q M R Z Z. That's the uh, that's the code that we want to update all of the JSON files with. So just copy it to clipboard. Now, uh, of course, you can keep on going uh, one after the other for all of these files and keep on changing this IPFS code, but that'll take a long time, and we don't want to do that, right? So what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be closing this down. Uh, let me close this as well. And uh, we'll be going over to uh, SRC folder and in that we'll be going over to config.json file. So in that also there's this uh, base URI and uh, in that there's this IPFS uh, colon and then there's uh, two slashes and then the code is over here as well. So just paste that code here and uh, in and then save it of course uh, and then run this particular uh, command in your uh, terminal this is the command that we need to run which is node utils slash update underscore info dot js so run that particular command um, this is the command that we want to run it'll be down in the description box below so just copy it and uh, run that command and you'll see that updated base uri uh, for images to uh, this particular uh, thing which is uh, what we had updated over here and welcome to the stripes nft has been updated as well as the description so uh, everything's done now uh, what we need to do is now we need to check our json files if they have really been updated so yes they have been updated there's no uh, ipfs code over here um, message and uh, now we can uh, freely upload this json folder uh, onto ipfs so let's just do that uh, so go over to pinata and it's the exact same process that we uh, did for our images we'll be selecting the folder so let me just uh, find my folder i think it was here uh, build and json yeah this was the folder 
let me just upload it and uh, i'll name it the stripes nft json uh, you can name it whatever you want it's just for your own reference so uh, once that is completed we'll be going over to the second step which is downloading erc721 smart contract because we need to uh, deploy the smart contract as well so we'll be downloading the smart contract and you can download it from this particular uh, website so this is a github uh, folder for uh, the files and uh, in order to download it just press on this code button and uh, download the zip folder and uh, open the zip files so you'd be able to see this contract folder and the stripes nft dot solidity uh, file as well uh, on your desktop or wherever you store it so i've already done that i'll just show it to you in finder so let me just search for my um files so this is how it would uh be shown on your uh, files so there'll be this contracts folder there'll be access ownable dot solidity then there's token and all of these files and folders would be there uh, in your uh, thing as well so once you've downloaded it you need to go over to remix.ide uh, sorry remix.ethereum.org uh, and then upload all of the files that you had uh, downloaded over here as well because we need to deploy the smart contract now so <clears throat> let's just do that uh, i've already done that actually uh, this is the contracts folder this is the access folder then there's ownable.solidity so just uh, upload each and every file over here and uh, make sure that you're uh, uploading everything in uh, the right order uh, the right order meaning uh, that uh, the access folder should be inside contracts then token folder should be inside contracts the ERC 721 uh, folder should be inside token so so on and so forth so uh, just make sure that you're uh, uploading it properly and uh, let me just do that and yeah so everything's done now just go over to the compiler make sure that you are on the right file which is the stripes nft dot solidity and uh, compile it also one more thing uh, you might not uh, want to keep the cost as uh, 0.04 ether which is what i'll be keeping for the stripes nft the pre-sale cost would be 0.03 ether you can change that as well the maximum supply for my uh, particular uh, nft collection is 992 images so that's what i've kept over here as well uh, yours might be different so just change it and uh, the max mint amount is 50 that is 50 nfts can be minted per wallet so uh, that's just uh, the things that i've kept you need to change uh, these four particular lines if you want to and then uh, just compile uh, the stripes nft dot solidity make sure the compiler is set to 0.8.7 and not anything else and uh, then just go over to deploy and now we are ready to deploy our um, solidity files so uh, before i do that let me just uh, disconnect my uh, wallet so that i can show it to you how it will look for you as well so uh, before i do that just uh, let me change it to javascript virtual machine and then go over to injected web 3 again so yeah uh, this particular notification would pop up and uh, make sure that you're selecting the right account for it so i'll be selecting i, I think i'll select this particular account because uh, i've not used this account for uh, deploying nfts till now uh, or maybe i'll select this particular account because i have not used that for anything at all so uh, let me just connect it with that account and uh, yeah it has no balance it has nothing so i can show you everything uh, right from scratch so let me just uh, change it to that particular account you can see this uh, green uh, dot over here and uh, it says connected that means it's already connected but i cannot deploy it and the reason for that is because I don't have any Matic to pay for the gas fees, right? So you need some Matic uh, in order to pay for the gas fees. So how do you get Matic? So first copy this uh, wallet address, copy your wallet address. And uh, here you can see that uh, get free Polygon for paying gas. So um, you need to go over to this particular faucet. Uh, go over to this faucet and uh, just select the Matic token. Uh, paste your address over here and uh, make sure you're on the Mumbai network itself 
uh, and press submit and confirm so it will be transferred in around one or two minutes and uh, yeah just wait for it to uh, come in your wallet uh, and till then what you can do is just go over to remix uh, and fill up all these details so in the deploy part you'd have to fill up three things uh, first is the name of your nft collection so the name would be the stripes uh, NFT. By the way, uh, one more thing uh, that I forgot to mention is that uh, make sure you're on the right network. So this was the Mumbai test network. If you want to deploy it on Ethereum network, make sure you're on the Ethereum network and not on Mumbai network or Polygon network or whatever you have. So uh, just make sure that you're on the right network and then uh, connect it to the uh, Remix ID. Now, by the way, I already got my one Matic, so I am ready to deploy it as well. So let me just put the symbol as uh, TS NFT, uh, the initial uh, base URI. So here is where uh, things get tricky. So let me just zoom in on this. So what you need to write is IPFS uh, colon and then there will be uh, two forward slashes uh, and then you need to paste uh, the CID from here. So the CID would be of the JSON files, not the images. Okay, so just copy the JSON file CID, uh, paste it over here and then make sure you add a slash at the end of it. So let me just add a slash uh, forward slash and uh, that's it let me show it to you so everything's done now we are ready to transact and uh, deploy our nfts so press on transact uh, it will take some gas fees but as we have already uh, taken some matic for free from faucet uh, we can pay for the gas fees uh, wait for some time and it'll be sh uh, showing here in the deployed contracts part so it's deployed over here and in order to see this deployed contract uh, you uh, on the polygon scan as well you can just go over to polygon scan and search for your contract so let me just do that polygon scan uh, oh by the way we have deployed it on the mumbai test network it's not there on the polygon network so that's why it won't be over here it won't be directly over here rather we'd have to go over to mumbai.polygonscan.com so make sure that if you're uh, doing it on the test network it should be there on the test network so the, the polygon scan should be of mumbai and not the uh, main polygon scan so let me just search for my contract and here you can see that 47 uh, seconds ago the contract was created everything's done uh, after this you can also go over here uh, and verify and publish your contract uh, but i won't be doing it right over here uh, you can do that afterwards also you can just press on verify and publish and there you'll have to actually um, you know upload all of these files and folders which would take a bit of time so i don't want to show it to you right over here uh, you can check my previous videos i've done that for other uh, contracts and other um, cryptocurrencies as well while making a new cryptocurrencies i'll try to link it uh, above in the video but uh, i won't be doing that over here i just want to show it to you on OpenSea. so once we've uh, deployed our contract we can then mint nfts as well so yeah first let me just mint some nfts through remix ide so let's just do that uh, if you go down uh, you can see uh, where did it go uh, where's the mint function okay the mint function is over here so if you just open this uh, there's two things that you need to put uh, the two address where you need to uh, send the minted nfts to and uh, the mint amount how many nfts do you want to mint it should be less than 50 because the maximum mint amount is 50 per uh, wallet so uh, let's just do that um, we have already um, you know minted 20 nfts that's the uh, starting um so here if you see we have already minted like 20 nfts for our uh, this particular uh, address but uh, we have not minted anything for this address so let me just copy this address uh, paste it over here and i want to uh, mint say 10 uh, nfts for it so let me just uh, go back and uh, then put the transaction uh, and 
it'll show me uh, some gas fees that I wanna uh, that I'd have to pay. Uh, confirm it and uh, it'll be soon uh, transacted as well. So it's done. And uh, now if you want to see your NFTs in your wallet, uh, you can just go over to OpenSea.io. Uh, actually not OpenSea because it's on the test network. So you should be going on testnets.opensea.io and not OpenSea.io. So now that you're there on uh, the testnets.opensea.io, you can go over to your profile and uh, see uh, the NFTs that you'd created. So uh, we had created uh, 20 NFTs for this particular address uh, they were created when we had deployed uh, the contract as you can see over here so mint uh, 20 nfts when it was created so uh, the owner got 20 nfts and we can see all these nfts we can even go over to its uh, description and see that uh, it's an erc721 uh, token standard you can go over to the contract address as well it'll be the same contract address over here and uh, it was deployed eight minutes ago it was created eight minutes ago and uh, yeah everything is done uh, i also want to show you uh, the other wallet address which we had sent uh, 10 uh, nfts to so let me just do that let me connect it uh, connect this particular address and uh, now let's go over to our profile and there should be 10 nfts with this uh, particular address uh, let's just see um, what's the problem um, I think the NFTs haven't uh, actually come up uh, I don't know what's the problem with this but uh, it should have been uh, minted so it's actually in the hidden section it's not in the collection section um, I don't know why, why is that the case but uh, yeah it's uh, there it's already minted uh, for us and uh, it's there in our um, wallet address so yeah we can even sell this nft now we can uh, share it with others you can uh, send it for um, you know some particular eth fees or uh, die fees and keep some auctions for this and uh, do whatever you want uh, with it as well so uh, i think that's it uh, other than that i also want to show you uh, how you can change the collection details so let me just switch back to the uh, first wallet and uh, go over to my collections uh, this was the collection and uh, this is our collection uh, we can see there are two owners uh, one was uh, us only and the second one was where we sent uh, the 10 uh, minted nfts so it's over there um, and let me just uh, show you how you can change the uh, details so you can change the wallet um, thing so let me just sign this particular thing and uh, here you can edit your collection you can change the logo image you can change the featured image you can change the uh, name as well so let me just change it to uh, the stripes nft um, and oh the name is already taken so that's why it was giving us the stripes nft version too so that's okay that's okay um, and yeah you can add in your uh, different links you can add in royalties so uh, whenever the uh, nfts get sold you get say 10 percent of uh, the um, amount you can add in a pay payout wallet address i'll just put in this particular wallet address itself and uh, yeah you can have payments in uh, ethereum old die you can have uh, whatever you want uh, on this and yeah that's it for this uh, particular video and uh, if you like this video then do share it with your friends do like this video uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel for more such content